Welcome back, people, to another Delivered Reviewed. And this week, the almighty Nando's. So this week, which you'll see in a second, as you can see there though, Nando's, uh, the original Peri Peri. So compared to Chickenlicious, and there is quite a few others that um, try to copy the Peri Peri theme, I don't think there's anything wrong with that. I think Pepe's might be one to try as well. Um, but obviously these are the ultimate and original uh, Peri Peri chili. So, as most people probably know, back in South Africa, it all started in 1987 even. Um, apparently two friends went to a Portuguese eatery, this is from the website, um, tasted the peri-peri chili and took it to the world. And I'm glad they did, and I'm sure everybody else is. Uh, but yeah, grilled chicken as opposed to battered or um, chicken nugget kind of coating or, or, or deep fried, um, always grilled, which is, I think from the taste of what I've had, obviously in this review, is is far better. But there is the place, obviously, for the others. Um, I'm not knocking, you know, battered chicken or or deep fried chicken at all. But uh, yeah, you'll see in a second, obviously, the the review. But Nando's itself, I just I haven't been to for the same with the others. I haven't been to for a long time, um, and I'm not saying that I've done that on purpose. It's just. Obviously they're expensive, every place is expensive, and there are a lot of cheaper, um, local, as I say, almost copied, you know, the peri-peri theme, but anyway, on to the review, and you'll see what it's like. So, as I've had the chicken years ago, the quarter chicken, half chicken, chicken wings, um, I thought, you know what, I've never had a burger from them before, and I know it's not technically a burger, um, but these were two chicken thighs, and the actual burger was Sunset Burger, so we'll come on to that in a second. The fries themselves, or chips as they call them, peri-peri salted chips, were, were pretty nice. Um, not too skinny, not too chunky in, in terms of like a, a pub chip, but as you can see there, decent sized chips, not too greasy, crunchy, although the distance was like two and a half miles to get to me, so they were really nice fries. Crunchy on the outside and soft and fluffy as you saw on the inside. Now, the halloumi fries, or sticks as they call them, on the picture, they were really grilled and or sort of like a deep brown grill as you can see just there but the rest of the fries or sticks mm, they were i like i love halloumi don't get me wrong but they're kind of like they're this they're the chewy halloumi um and i know halloumi's chewy so i'm kind of probably not making a lot of sense but they're not they've not got a crunch on the outside they've not got a crisp on the outside but the picture looked like they had I stupidly didn't try the chilli sauce with it. I actually thought that was sent by mistake, but it was actually with the halloumi fries. Um, they chucked in a couple of packets of the medium sauce, which I think was, was pretty good. And as you can see there, kind of the peri salt on the fries. So not knocking either of them. The fries were good or chips were good. The sticks, halloumi sticks were good. They could have just been done with being a little bit more, um, sort of a, a little bit more of a grill to them, the halloumi sticks. So they were pretty nice. Um, the burger itself, as you can see there, I think this is again just because it's delivery, but it kind of slid out a bit. And as you saw on the unboxing, the chili jam kind of like made its way into the corner of the box. And it's like, okay, well, that's more or less gone. Um, but there were two chicken fries grilled and I had medium um, peri peri sauce. And the bottom is mayonnaise, lettuce, um, cheese, and the, I think it's a pepper, uh, sort of like a chilli jam, but a pepper, smoky pepper sauce with it on the top, which there wasn't that much of, but it was really nice, kind of a, a nice heat to it. Not overpowering the um, medium sauce, but just enough. Again, the cheese was kind of hanging off one side, and once it had melted, you can't really move it, but the bun itself, and uh, you'll have to have a look at what the, the bun's called, but it's, it's uh, if I can find it, something Bola de Coa, de K, de K, Bola do Caco. I'm not even sure I've said that right at all, <laughs> but either way, um, a soft, sweet roll is what it, I guess, translates to. 
and it was really nice. I think if a lot of people use this bun or this type of bun, a bit more dense um, sort of centre to it, and it's, it's not necessarily crunchy on the outside, but it's a little bit more crispy on the outside. A lot of burgers, as you can see there, um, a lot of burgers uh, would be far better. So sort of. it, it really does kind of stand up to the sauce and the juice, which obviously is going to be a fair bit with chicken. Um, as you can see in a second, sort of pulling the chicken off, it was all, as it always is with Nando's, all perfectly cooked but not overcooked. Um, so as a burger, I would say if it was put better, you know, kind of like built, as I say before, better, then I'd have given it nine out of 10. But as it stood with it kind of being a bit messy, and it was a bit messy to try and eat with the, uh, with the two thighs, I, I couldn't give it nine out of 10. I mean, I should probably really give it a 10 out of 10 because it was really nice in terms of flavors. Um, so Nando's, I think most people have been to Nando's. Everybody knows what it's like, but I've, I've just never had a burger. And as you can see there, again, <laughs> nothing is nothing is cheap, but at the same time, I signed up for Delivery Plus, which saved about five quid. I mean, I'm not gonna stay with them because it's 7.99 a month to order a delivery, which is kind of like counterintuitive. You, you're paying to then have a discount on a delivery. It, uh, it's just nuts. The way all this stuff's going is nuts. But anyway, um, ultimately, I think it was, it was a nice meal. I think I need to go to Nando's a little bit more often than obviously I have done. I need to try the chili, uh, chili jam, if I get my words out. Um, but ultimately, ultimately, yeah, very, very nice meal. And I would have to say, as you'll see in a second, um, just because of it being built, that mm, probably a bit stingy, but eight out of 10 for the burger, eight and a half for the fries, which I think is right, and the halloumi fries. On to the next one next week.